And then there, uh, there are specific aspects of Bitcoin that I think are, are super attractive to different people. The first and foremost, to me anyway, is that it's decentralized. This was a big one for me. And the reason why is, is that I always figured that Bitcoin would just be shut off any day by the government if they wanted to. That was my biggest, like I was aware of Bitcoin since 2011 and like a knucklehead. I didn't really take it seriously until probably 2019 when I started really investigating it. But <clears throat> coming from the gold world, I don't. you may or may not have heard of this thing called e-gold, but it was one of the first sort of digital currency attempts backed by gold. There was a guy in Costa Rica and that guy got raided by the government, uh, Black Hawk helicopters, whole deal. I think that guy's still in jail. Like I, my memories of that thing happening kind of colored the whole Bitcoin thing for me because I was like, they're just going to shut it down, you know, at any time that they want. And it wasn't until I started, well, it was 2019, right? After Bitcoin had run up in 2017, supposedly the bubble popped. I was thinking to myself right after that, we're never going to hear from Bitcoin again. This is Pet Rocks. It's Beanie Babies. It was a, it was a, a fad. It's done. Right. 2019, I'm looking at the charts. I'm thinking this thing's consolidating. It's going to run again. And that's when I was like, it really bugged me. I was like, why is this still here? And that's when I started investigating that question. And the answer that I came up with was, well, and this was after, I don't know, probably a couple hundred hours, approaching a thousand hours of digging into it. I realized, well, it's still here because they can't stop it. They can't shut it down. It's too far too decentralized at this point. Maybe at one point in the beginning, they could have killed it like a baby in the cradle, but now there's no way. Uh, I saw there's one site that tracks the the downloads of Core, Bitcoin Core, oh, well over 200,000 times it's been downloaded. Um, currently live, we know of well over 15,000 live reachable nodes on the internet, not including, uh, I think there's a bunch behind Tor that were not, you know, sure whether they're reachable or not. Then there's the ones on satellites in orbit. And in order to stop Bitcoin today, every government in the world would have to agree simultaneously that we're going to shut down the Internet to stop Bitcoin. We're all going to shut down the Internet. Then they would have to, in a coordinated fashion, identify where all 200,000 of those downloads of core went. They'd have to shut those down, make sure that they were never started ever again. Because the moment you turn the internet back on and one of those nodes is live, boom, the whole thing repropagates. And that's the power of decentralized systems. And I could kind of grok that a little bit because of the peer-to-peer -peer thing that we were doing before. The whole point of peer-to-peer -peer is, is that it's decentralized. You can't shut it down. And what happened with that one guy with Eagle was they knew it was one guy and it was they knew where the servers were. They knew how to stop it. And that's the amazing thing about this idea with, with the Genesis block and Satoshi. We, we still don't know who this dude is. He released it to the world as open source, to get a gift to mankind. Right? It's mind-blowing. So there's the decentralized aspect. There's the finite supply aspect, which is absolutely critical to honest money. That's a critical component, in my, in my, in my opinion, of honest money. There is the unstoppability of the transfer of value, right? So you can send any amount of value globally at the speed of light at almost no cost and not a single person on the planet can stop you from doing that. That was one of the things that the light bulbs that went on for me when I was in the gold industry that caused me to realize Bitcoin is the answer. It's way better than gold, right? I'm not – and understand, if you're a gold bug, I mean no offense. I'm not trying to crap on gold here. Gold for thousands of years of human history was the hardest money and the most honest ma money mankind has ever known until Bitcoin. And we can talk more about that if you want to. And then there's the unconfiscatable aspect of it. Literally, so every asset in the world is correlated in one way except for Bitcoin. And that one way is it's confiscatable. Every asset on the planet is confiscatable, whether it's gold, silver, stocks, retirement accounts, money in the bank, land, pick one. There's every single asset on the planet is confiscatable except for Bitcoin. It's the first time in the history of the human race this has ever occurred. It is an evolutionary step for mankind. It changes everything. 